Haunted by Leve. The problem is the song just doesn't sound that spooky. Also, the problem is I have a flashlight in my pocket and it's like 10.30 in the morning. Good evening and welcome to the Haunted by Leve Halloween Spooktacular. We have some scary chords in store for you today. Do you want to hear my impression of... Um, what's a... Uh, Freddy Krueger. It's my impression of Freddy Krueger. <sighs> I've never seen those movies. I don't know what he sounds like. Guys! Oh, such a pleasure and a blast. We're, uh, it's a bossa nova by Leve. We're gonna play it. Standard tuning, no capo. Guys, the introduction. We're gonna start with a C minor seven chord. Please put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the top string. Skip the second string from the top entirely. Put your ring finger on the eighth fret of the third string from the bottom. See that? Then put your pointer finger on the eighth fret of the third string from the top. It's kind of weird. We're going middle finger, skip then pointer finger, ring finger, all in the eighth fret. This isn't the way you would always play a C minor seven chord. Sometimes you'd play like this or like this, but Leve does it like this and she has a really good reason for it, but we'll get to that good reason in a second. First, I need to show you the picking pattern, the classic bossa nova picking pattern, people of the world, friends and relatives. My name is Stuart, welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe. Have your thumb resting on the top string, have your pointer finger grab onto the third string from the top, and have your middle finger grab onto the third string from the bottom, guys. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch all three of those strings together like this. Then you're gonna have just your fingers play those middle two strings. And then your thumb is gonna play the top string again. So that was pinch, fingers, thumb. Hey, pinch, fingers, thumb, great job. Immediately after that, your fingers are gonna play the middle two again. So now we've got pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers. One, two, play with me. And pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers. Then you're gonna do fingers again. And then immediately after that, you do thumb again. So it's pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb. Two, three, four. Pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb. One more time, here we go. And pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb. Then immediately after that thumb, you're gonna do fingers again. Then a brief moment after that, you're gonna do fingers once again, and then thumb again. We're almost done, guys, we're almost done. So here's what we have so far. We have pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb. Hey, pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do fingers on the middle two strings one more time, but take your time doing it. I just realized I have this cushion on my chair and the cushion on my chair makes squeaky noises. So I have removed the cushion. I'm going to appear a half inch shorter now. Do not be alarmed. It is not a Halloween mystery. This seems like a fire hazard. Oh my God, there are ashes going everywhere. I don't know how to put out a candle. That's, there are embers. My smoke alarm's gonna go off. Oh, ow! Shh, be quiet. All right, we have learned the entire picking pattern. I would like to tell you, this is the picking pattern for the entire song. So I know it's gonna take a little bit of work to get used to this, but then that's all you have to do. Let us play this picking pattern slowly all the way through dose times in row Spanish for two. Surprise, you didn't know that. Happy Halloween. Two, three, four, pinch. Fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers. Pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers. Great. The intro starts off by just, you do that one time through on the C minor seven chord. Then, remember I told you there was a reason we were doing the fingering like this? It's because the next chord is a C minor six, which means you just take your pointer finger and you slide it over to the seventh fret. We were on the eighth fret, slide it to seven, do the same pattern again. You play through the picking pattern just one time on that chord and that is the intro. Let's play the whole intro to Haunted by Leve all the way through. Two, three, four, pinch. Fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, move! Fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers. That's the intro to Haunted by Leve. Then we get to the verse. We're gonna start off by using those same two chords, but here's the deal. We're gonna play the first half of the pattern 
on the C minor seven, then the second half on the C minor six for the verse. So it goes like this, three, four. You see that? So it was like C minor seven, and then I did pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, switch. So right there with my fingers, I switched to the next chord. Pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, switch, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers. Guys, we need to do that six times in a row. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in a row. Let's do it seven times, no, let's do it twice in a row. Two, right, okay, this is what I mean. In the song, she does it seven times in a row. You and I are gonna practice it two times in a row. Two, three, four, oh yeah. Switch. Yes, back to the first one, switch. Great, after we do that seven times in a row, we're gonna switch to a B flat major seven chord. Now normally I would do it like this, but for this song, we're gonna do a little shortcut because we might as well. Have your pointer finger on six of the top string, have your middle finger on seven of the third string from the top, and your ring finger on seven of the third string from the bottom. Guys, this is our shortcut B flat major seven chord. Thumb is on top, fingers down here, same picking pattern. You're gonna do the same thing where you just play the first half of the picking pattern. And then when we switch, what you wanna do is move your middle finger to the sixth fret. Pointer finger stays on six, ring finger stays on seven. We went from a B flat major seven to a B flat seven, just by moving the middle finger back like that. So we've got pinch, fingers, thumb, fingers, switch, thumb, fingers, fingers, thumb, fingers. Great job, that's the verse. Now we have made it to the chorus of the song, you guys. Chorus of the song goes like this, back to the C minor seven chord, the chord we started with, except we're gonna change the fingers we're using. We're gonna go pointer finger on eight of the top, skip the next string, middle finger on eight of the next one, ring finger on eight of the next one. It's just gonna make it easier to get to the next chord. So I know it's a little bit silly that we have two different fingerings for the same exact chord, but it's just the way it goes. We're gonna do the picking, one half of the picking pattern on this chord. Then we're gonna switch to a D7 chord, you guys. You're gonna take this chord, you're gonna slide it one, two frets up. So now pointer fingers on 10 of the top string, skip the next string, middle fingers on 10 of the third string from the top, ring fingers on 11 of the third string from the bottom. Now, if you have watched the Leve uh, chords and lyrics video, they call this chord a D7 alt. The harmony of the song is indeed a D7 altered chord, but she just plays a D7 chord and it sounds great. It gives the effect of a D7 altered chord, but we only need those three fingers, guys. So we go Then we're gonna go to a G minor seven. You take your pointer finger, bring it to three on the top string. The way, the way Leve does this chord is she just smashes down with her pointer finger on all six strings. Feel free to do it that way. The way I'm gonna do it is pointer finger three on the top, skip second string from the top, middle finger on three of the third from the top, ring finger on three of the third from the bottom. For me, it's just a little bit more, I, the chord sounds more consistently good if I do it this way. If I do the bar, sometimes I'll get a little dead string in there. It's just, it's just not worth the hassle, you guys. All right, all right, we're gonna do that G minor seven all the way through the whole picking pattern. So we did C minor seven, up to D7, down to G minor seven. Let's go ahead and play that once. Two, three, four. Great job. Guys, I feel like this video has not been nearly scary enough. The skeleton's like barely even in the shot anymore. Skeleton. Oh, okay, that was inappropriate, sorry. Um, so what I would like to do is I would like to show you the next part of the song. Guys, we're gonna go back to C minor seven, back to the D seven, back to the G minor seven again. But this time, when we get to the G minor seven, we're gonna go ba, ba, ba. So here's what that was. I just played the G minor seven twice, a pink, punk, and then I took my ring finger, scooched it up to the fourth fret, and play that as a G7. So that's C minor seven, D seven, 
And then G minor, G minor, G7. Okay, then we act like we're gonna do it again. We go back up to the C minor seven. We go back to the D7. Then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go bum, 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 bum. So that's just G minor seven. You know, we just did it on the third fret. But then you're gonna scooch all your fingers to the second fret. G flat minor seven. Then scooch all your fingers to the first fret. F minor seven, guys. So that what do we? Hey, then we go back to the C minor seven, and then you're just gonna play the D seven chord once. I do a nice little gentle thing where I go blah. So that's like bum ga bum ga bra two three four. And then at this point in time, we're gonna go like this. Remember our C minor seven to C minor six at the very beginning? We're doing that same pattern, but now it's G minor seven and G minor six. So middle finger, third fret, top string, pointer finger, third fret, third string from the top, ring finger, third fret, third string from the bottom. We're gonna go pinch fingers, thumb fingers, move your pointer finger back to the second fret. You do that twice, guys. Let's play it together twice. Two, three. Four, G minor, seven, G minor. I can't talk and play it at the same time. That's unfortunate. Boo! Then we get to the second verse, which is exactly the same as the first verse. Then we get to the second chorus, which is exactly the same as the first chorus. And then we get to the ending, which is just that G minor, seven to G minor, six. Okay. And you do that a couple times, then we'll end it on... I think on the G minor six, it's the spookiest chord of all. And that's how you have a happy Halloween. Good evening, hasta la vista, baby.